Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. Uh, the messages won't resonate with every Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, but if it resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll do four cards for love. Thank you for messages for Pisces. True, accurate messages of love for Pisces. Messages to govern and to guide Pisces life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Some of you are mourning or in grief <clears throat> or hesitating before making decisions. Uh, still holding on with the four of diamond. You could be in relation with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Some of you could be hesitating because you're awaiting a large sum of money. All right. Ace of Spade, Death card, Endings, Beginnings, Transformation, and then New Love in friendship or, you know, just new love. The bottom of the deck, five of spades. Looks like some of you, lots of change here, and definitely with the ace here, the ace of, um, the ace of, uh, uh, spades, the death card. Cancellation. Wow. Divorce. Separation due to infidelity. There might be an ending of one situation and then jumping into a new one with the new love, new marriage card, choosing a new path here. This is, this could be, this is fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you could be, some of you, it looks like shifting of the energy with an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, looks like some of you may be having new love with uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Because there might have been betrayal. More air energy here. And you've got this hot young thing, maybe. Fire sign. And you feel like maybe this, this relationship reciprocates with the Six of Diamond here. And there was nothing but problems in your marriage or your relationship with the Six of Diamond. Mm, okay. All right. All right. Let's do another spread for another set of Pisces, hopefully. All right. Love messages for Pisces. True, accurate messages for Pisces. Love messages for Pisces. Love messages for Pisces. Love messages for Pisces. True, accurate messages for Pisces. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love messages for Pisces. Mm -hmm. True, accurate messages for Pisces. View in this video. All right. Okay. All right. New love. New marriage. Wow. Ace of Hearts. New love. New friendship. Wow. That <laughs> two of, of club. You have to choose a new path. Um, there might be resentment, regrets. There might even be gossip. Uh, you might be doing this in secret, Pisces. Um or maybe an air sign was very secretive and sneaky and a liar with the seven of spades. And it looks like you're going to drop that friendship, that relationship, the burden of that relationship. Okay. Four of, of diamond. Uh, some of you may be receiving a large sum of money or uh, somebody's still trying to hold on to this relationship. Right. They don't see a way out of this, even though they want out. Wow, because there's love, reciprocating love somewhere else, right? Cancellation. 
It looks like the same spread. <clears throat> The air sign is not coming up in the best light. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Um, looks like you want new love and new marriage with them. You have to choose that. Uh, some of you could be trying to devise a plan of action to release the burden that is the air sign. Or an air sign was just not... Um, not upright, just not a, a forthcoming and upright and honest person, though they're still trying to hang in there and hold on because they don't see a way out. Uh, but there might be new love here for some of you, but there might be some cancellation behind getting to that new love. Um, some reversal. The cancellation, the hold up might be that you need to go through this divorce. All right. You need to actually separate. You need to have divorce. Separation. Okay, let's do Pisces. Career. Finance. Pisces. Career and 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 finance. Right. Looks like one wanted to fall out. Sorry, guys. All right. Three of hearts. Five of clubs. There's a lot of indecision, too, with inside of you. You know, there's a lot of inner conflict. One in newness. Five of spades. Lots of change. Three of spades. Six of diamond. King of spades. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm going to say? This message for similar Pisces out there is loud and clear. A relationship with an air sign is over or needs to be over. And then we have a relationship card. The ten of diamond. This foundation needs to crumble down. You want newness somewhere else, but there's a lot of indecision about what you do. Um, do you go forward with the divorce, the separation? Uh, your mind says, okay, yeah, let's let's do it because there's nothing but argument, um, confrontation, frustration here. Inside of you, you think of the newness or you think of what you could make new, uh, but you also are cognitive of the fact that you want newness somewhere else or there is newness somewhere else or that this just is not working because we got the six of diamond this talks about problems in your marriage it says second marriage or second relationship but for some of you it could be first but problems in your marriage and your relationship then we have the king of spade aquarius gemini libra then we have the relationship someone not being honest uh, dishonest disloyal, untrustworthy. You need to make a decision or they need to make a decision about you, the two of spades. One that will give them victory, the option to walk away, have new love, the ultimate level of happiness, possibly even engagement, moving to the next level, partnership with someone else. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but somebody is all up in their mind about it, all up in their head about it. It looks like the universe might come in and help you out with that and break down this not foundation. It's it's not a solid foundation. Everybody's getting this. I gotta go. I'm I'm leaving. You know, type of energy. I don't even remember what that was. Was that career finance? I think it was, and it was just about your relationship. So uh, that that says a lot that, you know, spirit really wants you to know that before you can even focus on that, the career and finance, you need to focus on the fact that maybe a relationship is over. Maybe that's holding back um, spiritual blessing for you. Uh, you can't move to the next level 
uh, in career and finance if you don't handle what is not being handled. Wow, well, that was some, that's for some of you. All right, home and family, home and family, and that's talked about the home, home life decision about this. Six of club. All right. Unforeseen, unexpected event comes in. Makes you have to make a decision about maybe the marriage. Uh, the success of the marriage. The success in the home and the family. Is there success here? Uh, there might be news also. Baby news. Good news comes in. That allows you to move away from burden, conflict, make, you know, small achievements over your burdens. Maybe with an air sign, so you can have some victory here. Have a new passionate start. Transformation in the relationship, possibly with an air sign or an earth sign for a diamond here. Some of you want to hold on to this, but you're having trouble in your relationship due to jealousy or greed or just problems, problems in the relationship, six of diamond. Some of you are wanting newness somewhere else, praying for newness, hesitating before making the decisions, needing to be like the queen of spades or dealing with the queen of spades, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You offering love to maybe an unfaithful spouse, someone who has made nothing but promises and broke all of them. Here, here's the marriage, the king and queen of spades. Yeah. This is definitely specific to somebody who's dealing with an air sign. It looks like at one point you want to you want to hang in there, the other it's like I want to leave, you know. You have to get clear on what you want that's the only way spirit can come in and really move and really help you and really shift the energy shift the atmosphere for you if you're not clear on what you want imagine not being okay so it's like <clears throat> it's like you're the uh the head over a construction site and here's the wrecking ball and the guy operating the, the wrecking ball machinery is asking, well, which building, which building am I to, you know, tear down? Which building are we wrecking? And you're not clear. You know, it's like, then the guy in the machine with the wrecking ball does nothing. And that is how spirit works. Until you get clear on what you want on what you need, on what you know, what you know you need, then they they just they just hold back. They just stand back and wait until you get clear. All right, spiritual um, guidance, inner growth. Spiritual guidance, spirituality, and inner growth. Spirituality and inner growth. So, yeah, always think about that analogy. It's like, you know, we can pray and pray and pray and pray to spirit, but if we're not actively getting right within ourselves and we're so up and down and we're so back and forward because we're allowing either the circumstances or another person to, to keep swaying us the spirit just jumps out because we don't serve a god or whatever you 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 deem to who whatever you call who you serve or who you pray to we don't serve a god that is that is of confusion um, he's clear, he's concise, or she, whatever. Y'all get in the comments and argue about that. Um, <clears throat> our God is clear and concise. And when you are not, then he has to hold back. And, and maybe he'll, you know, try to bring about clarity to you so that then he can move. And I'm not speaking at you, I'm speaking with you. Because I've been there. I've been, you know, the up and down and the roundabout. And when I got clear on some things... So many things shifted and moved in my life. But the, if you keep staying in stagnation by way of not being clear, then that's where you'll be, in stagnation by way of not being clear. Same cards, guys. New love, 
and, and I'm hearing this, this is self-love, lay down the burden that is arguing, fussing, fighting, frustration, reversal. You keep reversing, you keep going back to, well, maybe I can make this work. It is, it's either maybe I can make it work or maybe I'm leaving. But you need to get out of maybe and either I'm making it work or I'm leaving. Because there's problems in your home life, in your marriage, in your relationship. You're hesitating before making a decision. You grieve in the loss before you even have the loss, which is divorce, separation, due to infidelity and lies. And then what comes out? The unfaithful spouse and broken promises. Come on, guys. Spiritually, it says love self first, lay down burden so that you can get clear on what you want and you can allow the change the two fives, the change to happen so that you can have a change in journey, possibly home, move. All right, guys. All right, Pisces. Uh, it gets better. It will. It gets better only if you want it to get better. Uh, if you feel like you need a personal reading, please email me at tarotofl at gmail.com. Follow me on Instago. It's a new iPhone app where you can ask me a question or two. If you like a full reading, please email me. Follow me on Instagram where you can see pictures of my semi-born life. Now, um, if you're feeling moved to do that, Instagram, the handles are below. Choose to fund the page. Any donation amount is appreciated. It goes back into the channel. We're getting more cards. Uh, just newness. Um... I think that's pretty much it, guys. Take advantage of the $30, 30 minute readings. This is my last reading. Uh, great, great, great. I got through all of them this month, guys. It's going to get better for me. I'm going to have a lot more free time soon, hopefully. Well, I don't know about that. But anyway, I'm just going to keep trying. Y'all keep trying with me. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're feeling moved. Uh, remember Pisces, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.